What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. While Samsung Galaxy phone users are trying to get a hang of One UI 7 and its features, Samsung silently releases the One UI 8 first beta in some countries like Korea, US, UK and Germany and a couple of more countries will be getting the One UI 8 beta very very soon. Now if you are in one of these countries, all you need to do is just go to the members application. You will be able to see the beta banner right here uh, near the benefit section somewhere around here you'll be able to see that you need to tap on it to see this specific uh, area this is the page that you're going to see once you uh, get into the beta program uh, banner and if the beta program is available you will see one more banner right here and then you get the beta tips as well just enroll yourself and start receiving the beta update this page is not active yet here in india and we will be getting the second beta probably after two weeks we may not be getting the first beta as usual even one device seven the first beta was released in uh, about three or four countries initially and here in India we got the second beta as our first update but hey if you are living in US UK Poland Germany and of course Korea you might be able to see this update on your members application go ahead and download it now I would also like to take you through uh, all those changes that we have I have downloaded some of the screenshots from Android Authority which talks about all the new features that we are going to get let me show you the update details here first as you can see here it says first beta software update this is one UI beta program operation team we are thankful that you have taken part in one UI uh, beta program one UI 8 brings you Android 16 with exciting new features now the new features will be starting with the quick share as you can see here first let's talk about the quick share here it says easily find downloaded files find the file you need quickly even if you don't know the file name you can now filter files based on the application that was used to download them works in the downloaded and recent views in my files so we will be able to easily find the downloaded files through quick share which is fantastic then we have got redesigned samsung internet application i have already showcased the brand new samsung internet application on the channel there's a brand new animation and a brand new background if you want to see the detailed video you can check out the link in the description then we have got more convenient ai select it says no more waiting when you start AI select you can now select an area of the screen immediately now as you can see when I try to activate the AI select here let me tap on AI select now it takes a couple of seconds and then we'll have to draw around uh, something to select it now this is how it works on one UI 7 and as per this new change log as per one UI 8 change log we will now be able to more conveniently uh, use the AI select feature no more waiting when you start AI select you can now select an area of the screen immediately then we've got multitasking enhanced display support the new Samsung DeX gives you more options when connected to an external monitor or TV you can choose an optimized display resolution up to WQHD and rotate the display 90, 180 or 270 degrees. Now this WQHD option was already there through a good lock if I'm not wrong. They might have brought this feature from good lock to the uh, UI itself. Let me show you that. Let me open good lock application. Now here let's go to plugin. Here we will have to open multi-star uh, module here. Let me open multi-star. It's right here. Now here you see we have got this feature I love Samsung DeX. You can make your DeX even more convenient. Let me open this. We have got this toggle high resolutions for external display. You can use high resolution supported by DeX regardless of wired connection accessories. Device may heat up while using DeX it says. Uh, now this feature enables us to use higher resolutions which is already there on uh, this specific module. And uh, now let me just go back to the uh, change log here. It says new Samsung DeX gives you more options when connecting to an external monitor or TV you can choose an optimized display resolution up to WQHD so this is I think the same we already had it through good lock module and now that has been added to this and I don't exactly remember whether we had this rotate option or not I think we had it but anyways let me check that and get back to you then we have got enhanced split screen view while two applications are open in split screen view you can push one app against the edge of the screen to keep it par uh, partially visible while giving most of your focus to the other application for example uh, when I open uh, the application in split screen view now I'm able to push this uh, bar here and make this display make this specific window larger and now I think with the new update uh, as you can see when I bring it closer to this it just expands and opens the entire application I think on one UI 8 we should be able to uh, you know just open the window almost up till here 
and then uh, have that other window uh, open probably in at the edge here or maybe in some other area once i get the update i will obviously uh, know how exactly it works but this is what i'm guessing uh, so that is something which we will get as far as multitasking feature is concerned it says tap the smaller app anytime to switch between them quickly next we have got reminder application uh, we have already seen this application. I have made a video about uh, the all new reminder app that we got on One UI 8. If you missed that video, you can go ahead and check that out. We have got an all new layout now. Reminder app has been redesigned with categories shown at the top of the screen, making it easier to see how many reminders are in each category with a quick glance. Custom categories can be hidden with a quick tap to free up more uh, screen space. Tap one more time to make them appear again. And we also have new sample reminders, which I have already discussed. And then we have got add reminders easily option. It's never been easier to add reminders. Just type your reminder into the box at the bottom of the screen. Suggestions will appear as you type that you can tap to save time. You can add checklists, locations and pictures using the buttons below the text box. Or if you don't want to type at all, tap the mic icon for voice input. So all these new options are now available on the reminder application. Then comes modes and routines. As you can see, we have got new preset routines. Check out the new preset routines for weather and other advanced conditions. Use them as they are or customize them to meet your needs. And we also have new routine actions. New actions are available for getting data from the clock, calendar, and Samsung Notes application. Now, this feature was introduced on One UI 7. If you look at One UI 7 here, let me open the modes and routines. And let's uh, create a routine here. And in the then condition, you can see uh, when you go to the bottom, we have got get option where we can get current mode, get uh, date and time, get Wi-Fi strength and all these information, get charging status, get battery level. But this has not been working on One UI 7, at least on my device. Now here on One UI 8, it says new actions are available for getting data from clock, calendar, Samsung Note applications. After you get data, you can use it in other conditions or actions in your routine. So maybe this will work seamlessly on One UI 8. Let's wait for that. Then we have got some improvements in Samsung Health application, running distance challenges, food recording reminders uh, we now are getting on One UI 8. Then we've got communication, improved profile cards. It's easy to create and edit your profile card to get the perfect layout for your name and picture. So there is some changes here, which we will see once we have the actual beta. And we also have a review recorded calls in contacts. It's now easier to review your past conversations. Calls you have recorded now appear on the contact history screen. Then we've got camera, swipe up or down to open quick controls. Access quick controls in camera even quicker than before by swiping up or down anywhere in the uh, preview area. We will have to wait for the update to see this. Then we have got enhanced secure folder now. Keep sensitive applications and data in a separate protected area of your phone. You can now set secure folder to hide apps and prevent notifications when you lock it. You can also completely hide and encrypt your secure folder for maximum protection. So we have got some improvements in the secure folders under security and privacy. Then we have got accessibility features, pinch and zoom with the assistant menu, control mouse actions with your keyboard. Then we have got magnify your keyboard option, easily pair Bluetooth hearing aids. You can now pair and connect your Bluetooth hearing aid devices directly on the hearing and support screen in accessibility settings. So some accessibility features as well. These are the major features that we are getting. And then we have got some more improvements here. Easily connect to AuraCast broadcast. AuraCast allows you to broadcast audio from one device to multiple listening devices at the same time. It's now easier to connect to AuraCast broadcast by simply scanning a QR code. You can also generate a QR code to let others connect to your broadcast, which is fantastic. Now, these are some brand new features we are getting. It's not a huge change log as such compared to the One UI 7. It's a very small change log. Some major improvements are on the Samsung Reminder, Calendar sections, some multitasking features, weather application, secure folders, and a few more areas. So as expected, not a very major upgrade, but yeah, something refreshing, which is good to see here. Now, as soon as we get the update, I will keep you guys posted. I'll probably try to download the uh, first beta firmware on this phone uh, if it is available and uh, maybe the official beta whenever it arrives beta 2 here in India I will be keeping you guys posted and I will post many more contents about One UI 8. 
So stay tuned for all the contents regarding Money by 8. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Wallverse. I think today uh, the application was down for some reason. We are working on it. You should be able to see the applications running smoothly again very soon. So stay tuned. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience caused. I saw uh, many of you guys emailing me today and yesterday. Uh, we are working on it. So uh, just uh, give us some time to rectify these issues. That's about it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't downloaded this application yet, the link is in the description. Go ahead and download it. Do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to hit that like button. That really encourages me to keep coming up with more content for you and it will push the video to many more people. So go ahead, hit that like button. Do not forget to do that. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.